What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back with a new bike. This one, another KBO. They sent me a few bikes, and I think we're really going to enjoy this one. This is my new KBO Breeze ST. This is listed as a commuter bike, which means it's made more for regular roads and not so much for this. So I'm not gonna be taking this bike off-road. Normally we go off into the grass and the mud and the muck. That's not what most people are gonna be using this bike for. So we're gonna to stick to relatively rough terrain on these roads here, as well as smooth pavement. This bike currently, as of the making of this video, is on KBO's website for $1,099 regularly, $1,400. So you get a steal of a deal on this bike today. There's a few specifications I want to go over. We're going to start with 768 watt hour battery right here. And they put it right in the frame. Really, really nice. It looks sleek. You'll notice you don't have a bunch of wires sticking out underneath. They're all hidden within the frame. Next, we've got a 750 watt peak motor, which means it's probably, yeah, right there, 500 watt motor. The quick charger is a three amp. The approximate range, and of course this varies greatly depending on your weight and how you're riding the bike, but approximately 55 miles, those 27 and a half inch tires, and a weight capacity of about three, hundred pounds. Now the bike itself is not all that heavy at 62 pounds. It's recommended for five two to six foot three individuals. It's got a nice little LCD display and the battery 48 volt 16 amp hour lithium ion battery with Samsung or LG cells right there. The Display, very easy to use and understand. You've got regular mechanical disc brakes on both sides, leather wrapped handles. You've got your Shimano seven speed shifter right here. And I believe we have an Altus, yep, a Shimano Altus derailleur right there as well. You got a nice little cargo rack on the back. It does have a brake light, tail light, and of course, a nice little headlight with a reflector. The screen on this is pretty basic. You hold down the M button to turn it on, and there you go. You have a battery indicator right here, your speed right here, and your trip. This one actually has zero miles on it. Absolutely no miles on this bike yet. So this is as brand new to me as I've ever done on the channel. Zero miles, we're gonna get our first impressions today. Here's your seat, nice, thick, wide, very cushiony seat. It's a good looking bike, but instead of talking about it, I think you, as well as myself, would rather be out riding it. All right, are we ready? Let's do it to it. I'm gonna start out with pedaling. I'm not gonna start out too fast. Because like I said, this, this bike was not made for the gravel roads that I'm on. But it's a fact of life. You're not always gonna find yourself on a nice, cozy, comfortable paved road. Sometimes you're gonna end up off-road on your e-bike. Pedal Assist 5 is, that's pretty quick. I'm already doing 20, slower down. Let's bring Pedal Assist down to three. I really like to see how it handles pedaling. Pedal Assist 3 is still pretty quick. That's, that's still pretty quick. For a 500 watt motor, it'll get you, man. There we go. Going up a hill, Pedal Assist 3, that's where you want to be. Eight, uh, seventh gear, Pedal Assist 3 feels nice. I'm going to tell you something else about this bike. Aside from the fact that it's handling the gravel extremely well. I'm, do I'm doing almost 20 right now on those two inch tires. It feels fine. It's a sturdy bike. It's a really sturdy bike. Let's go around this corner. Let's hope I don't lose it on this gravel because that's gonna hurt. Not a problem. The front suspension is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It feels great. This is a very competent bike. I like this, guys. Let's try out these brakes. Oh yeah. Not a problem. And some of these bikes are really, really heavy. This one, 
not heavy at all. I like the way it feels. It's nimble, but it's still sturdy. And it feels like if I were to slide, see what I mean? I can grab it really easy and get it back under control. Yeah, I'm digging this bike. I like this bike a lot. I do. Very, very good balanced bike. I'm still in pedal assist three. It feels real good there. And I'm not using the throttle. I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to do and I'm exercising. <laughs> I'm exercising. Pedal assist three feels real nice. That is like the ideal place to be if you're not wanting to go too fast and you're not wanting to go slow either. Pedal assist three is, is a nice, happy place to be in seventh gear. Uh, the Shimano gears and derailleur are working smooth as butter. You can hear that gravel. You can hear that gravel. Let's get her up a little bit. Let's see, can we do over 20? 18, 19, 20. There we go, let's slow her down a little bit. Easy, brakes are very, very good. All right, you know what it's time for? Let's get her out on the road. See how she handles. Oh, I like this bike. It is so nimble. Time to get her on the road. Here we go. Let's do wide open. I'm gonna go into pedal assist five and let's see how fast it goes pedaling. I'm at 22. Let's really lean into it. 23, 24, 24 and a half. Can I hit 25? Come on, Randy, you could do it. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. 24 and a half is as good as I can get. All right, let's do throttle only now. Whew. Well, that was tiring. <laughs> 21, 22. Seems to be where we're topped out at here. About 22 mile an hour. 21, seven. 21, eight. Coming down a hill here. Boy, it's nimble. Such a nimble bike. I love it. 25, 26, 27. Oh, is that a chicken? The hell is that? Twenty-one. We're going up a big hill here, so it'll be interesting to see what it holds out at. We're doing twenty-one, three, twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. 17, 18, 19, and back up to 20 again. That's not bad going up that big hill. That's not bad at all. This bike feels great. Even at top speed, it feels really, really solid. I'm gonna start pedaling again. I'll take over and uh, save that motor a little bit of work. Yeah, I like this. This is a very comfortable bike to ride. All right, we're gonna get it out on the main road here. Let's go ahead and take her off road. Oh, nice. That was, that was not bad. Not bad at all. Get you guys back up here a little bit. Here you go. Bump, oh yeah. Amazon guy about run me over. <laughs> he was coming for me, guys. All right. On this main road here, pedaling, I'm holding about 21 miles an hour pretty easily. I don't have to pedal too hard. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I could do this on the regular on this bike. Very nice. The grips on the handlebars are really comfortable. My hands feel nice. They're not slipping, even though my hands are starting to sweat a little bit. And I'm not slipping at all. The height of the bike is perfect. This is very comfortable. Yeah, I like this, guys. I really, really do. What a great bike by KBO. The Breeze ST. 
so right now I'm pedaling myself up this big hill and uh, I was able to hold 19 miles an hour and that's a pretty steep hill too guys 19 miles an hour is not bad at all now right around this corner about half a mile down the road there are these dogs that always come after me and this time I didn't put you on time-lapse this time I got you guys rolling so if they come after me this time hopefully you get to see them and I've always got to dodge them my fiance said she doesn't like me riding this bike up and down these streets it's dangerous and I guess it kind of is but if you never ridden a motorcycle or you never had an e-bike you really don't know what you're missing until you get out on one of these things it's kind of addictive that's why I keep having them send me more <laughs> send me send me all the e-bikes you want because I love trying out different bikes seeing how fast they go how they handle how they ride and uh, it's kind of like my love for cars I love all kinds of different cars fast ones slow ones ugly ones pretty ones weird ones oddballs I like them all same thing with bikes it's just fun and getting out here and burning some of these calories y'all see me I'm not exactly the skinniest guy definitely not the fattest guy but I'm not the skinniest guy out here exercise is good for you and every time I get out here on one of these bikes and I do my little 10 mile lap I come back a little hot but I also come back feeling good I feel refreshed and I feel accomplished these bikes really help you go the distance there we go this is nice all right guys here's these dogs they come out right here right here at this fence why they're not gonna come out today if they do boy you gotta book it you gotta pedal no they're not there no they could be over here at this one let's see no they're not out here today okay good I guess now I can stop recording because that was mostly for my safety. So we're almost done with our little ride. I don't think we're gonna hit 10 miles on this one. I almost crashed earlier doing another review. So there's a log in the street right there. There it is, and I hit it head on. That was not good. That was not good. Yeah, sometimes I do two or three reviews in a day which means I can easily ride 20 25 miles in a single day with no issue at all and I'm telling you I couldn't do that on a regular bike only on something like this it's got that assist that motor assist so you could go further but still get in that exercise all right guys I'm gonna ride this thing around a little bit more ow jeez ah, those things are those things are whipping me I'm going to get in a little more ride time on this one and we'll come back with my final thoughts when I'm done with this ride. Heck guys, I couldn't help myself. I didn't quit riding. <laughs> wow. I couldn't do it. I, I, I enjoy the bike so much. I've continued on my way and now I'm just rolling through uh, different neighborhoods out here, kind of enjoying the scenery, checking out some places that I haven't seen before. And the breeze out here is super nice. Well, speaking of, the bike is a KBO Breeze ST. And I'm telling you, I'm getting a nice cooling breeze on me right now. Feels great. Bike is still doing wonderful, guys. When I said we weren't going to hit 10 miles on this trip, I was absolutely wrong. We're definitely going to hit 10 miles on this trip. Brakes, let's go around this corner. Oh, this is nice. Don't slide. <laughs> There's gravel out there. There we go. All right, guys, we'll come back here in a few when I'm done with my ride. Boy, guys, that's a workout. Today alone, I've put over 20 miles on bikes. And I'm about to do it again. I'm about to take another one. I'm about to make it 30. I love it. It's not for everybody, but I'm here to tell you, it's kind of like when people started seeing electric cars you know they were kind of like eh never it'll never be me 
Well, I understand. Heck, I've had a few electric cars and, you know, typically I still prefer the good old school gasoline. And there's going to be people that will still prefer the good old school regular manual bikes. But if you've never tried out an electric bike, if you've never had one before, I'm here to tell you, this is a great price point for a bike, guys. Just over a thousand bucks to get you in the door. You don't have to spend two or three thousand dollars on something that you don't know if it's going to be for you or not. The best part is, let's say you buy it and you decide, you know what, this isn't for me. It is not hard to put these things right back up online and sell them, seriously. Like if it's not for you, you can always sell it and you'll get most of your money back. This bike right here over this last 10 miles was absolutely great. I had no problems at all getting to my 10 miles. And take a look at that battery, 10.3 miles and the power is still one, two, three, four, five out of six bars. Five out of six bars at 10 miles. I'm 5'11", 230 pounds, and I used one bar of juice to go 10 miles. So that should give you a pretty good idea of how far you can get on one of these on a single charge. It's a wonderful bike. I put the suspension to work. You can clearly see how far this, the suspension here has traveled from the grease line right there. That's, that's pretty good. You're looking at about four inches of travel going through all these back roads and stuff. The, uh, the tires are reflective, by the way. So when light hits them, they do light up and, uh, and reflect. So people can see you got a reflector on the front plus the headlight, like I said earlier. The gears shift smooth as butter. The brakes, even though they're mechanical, they're not hydraulic brakes, the brakes work. They, they work great. They absolutely work great. And with the top speed of around 22 miles an hour, downhill a couple times I was able to hit 25. But for the most part, you're going to be riding around 20 miles an hour on this thing. It's not super fast. Therefore, you're not going to need some crazy brakes on this thing. It's a wonderful bike. I highly recommend it. And uh, if you're interested in this bike, it is the KBO Breeze ST. I'm going to put a link directly below this video. So big shout out and thank you to KPO for sending me another e-bike. I really appreciate you guys. And if you got any more to send me, hey, feel free to send them my way. I'm happy to do a review. Your products are excellent. They are great quality and they're a great price. So I have no problem sharing them with my audience. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.